Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more Dragon Blades. And I'm feeling 90% better, not all the way, but it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. But we also have patch notes today, which we can look at, which probably include uh, medicine and hyper by now. Alright, so hold up, let me just get myself out of the way here. So we got the unified ranking system for like boss raid, arena, tag, ROB, all of them going to be united in one place, I guess. So this is where it's going to be. And this is the ranking right here. Hmm. So I guess you just add up all your points together is what I'm guessing. That's going to be really weird. But neat at the same time. I am curious to how this is going to work out though. I am, I am kind of curious how the rewards are going to look too. Alright, new brand of allies. So, Prome and Hyper are going to get their little relationship thing. Next, more improvements. Uh, Daily Dungeon is going to get auto replay, so it's just going to automatically buy your additional entry, I believe. Which is going to be quite nice, just because you don't want to keep getting out of it, just to uh, replay it, I guess. Well, pretty much you'll get done with the free, then you would want to purchase it again, and this just saves time off that. And also, ally lock function. I think, okay. That's something we already have. Alright, so Hyper and Metis. I don't want either of these guys anymore. Kind of changed my mind on that since I'm not really going for a physical team right now. But I'll get the physical team in like, the future. But as of right now, I'm going to try and avoid these two. I already have enough on my plate at the moment. All right, Hyper uses bullets to hit all enemies. All right, so his first active skill is called Solar Flame and he deals 163% damage to all enemies using one bullet and inflicts a debuff that deals 360% damage every second for, for nearly nine seconds. Hmm, not half bad. His second active skill is Carnage and it deals 872 damage to all enemies with one bullet and increases physical damage received by 44% for 8.2 seconds. Alright, that's really good for a physical team. I can say that. Not half bad. So he's just pretty much like a like an AoE powerhouse. From what I see. His third skill is called Catastrophic and it deals damage to all enemies using every bullet and deals additional damage to every bullet. Doubles damage on boss types. This skill is used when there are three or more and activates Butcher Time passive. Alright, now we're going into the passives. Alright, passive skill, reload, loads all your bullets and increases your crit damage for, oh, for 800% for five seconds upon reloading. All right, Butcher Time. Deals an additional times two damage when you attack an enemy with the last bullet. The attack becomes a crit hit. That's also not half bad. So he is dealing like a lot of damage. Which is nice. Now the thing is. Could you make it. To the point where. The last bullet would. Be there. By the time this wears off. Maybe with a little bit of attack speed you could. Because if you can hit. With that times 2 damage. With this crit damage on. That could be some real good. Uh. 
damage going on. Alright, his third passive is Searing Rage, which increases area damage by 77%. And Ruler of Battle is his ultimate passive, and increases boss damage by 58% when Catastrophic is used. This stacks 10 times, it cannot be removed. Not bad. Overall, he's like a really good AoE character. And I would definitely recommend him. Alright, next is Metis, who I was thinking about getting, but I'm going to hold off on. Her normal attack gives a mark that amplifies the attack of summons. Her first active skill is Spirit's Grace, increases physical attack to all party members and additional boss damage. This lasts for nearly 10 seconds. Really good for the physical team. Right, her second active skill is Ancient Blessing. Awakens the abilities of Trim. If you guys don't know who Trim is, it's pretty much her summoning the little rock giant she sits on. Increases attack by 90% and melee damage by 82%. This skill will be managed until Trim dies and gets back up to five times. Okay, not that bad. Pretty much increasing your summon. Yeah, I don't know. I might get her. But like I said, I have a lot on my plate right now. Do I really have the resources to be going for her? I'll decide afterwards. All right. Guardian Trim. Summons Trim, your guardian and friend. Trim attacks all enemies upon a normal attack and increases physical damage received for nearly 7 seconds. Deals damage to all using Earth's Fury and stuns for 8.7 seconds and inflicts debuff that deals constant damage over time for 8.7 seconds, which is not half bad because you're stunning them and they're receiving damage over time, which gives you enough time to like put in that extra damage. So I can say that's actually pretty good. All right, so now we're getting into the passives. The first passive is called Natural Balance and increases your main stats of encanters at your party by 55%. All right. So, Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna save it for the end. Alright, the second passive is Guardian Communion. And it increases attack of Trim by 100%. Alright, Trim, calm down, you and that damage. Alright, her third passive is Ancient Consciousness. And increases all attack of party members by 19%. And the ability Ancient Blessing stacks 10 times. Hold up. Oh Jesus, so basically Trim's going to be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, that's really good. As for her ultimate passive, which is called Ancient Calling, which increases additional damage to bosses for all party members by 74% when Trim is summoned to the battlefield. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. So both of these characters are actually pretty nice. Um, what was I about to say for this? Oh yeah, this could be really good for an encanter team. Like, extremely good. So if I was building an encanter team, I would definitely go for this. Just because there are a lot of melee units inside of the encanters. Like, summons. This is, like, extremely great. So if you guys are building an encanter team, I definitely recommend Metis. If you guys are building a physical cool team, definitely can recommend her. Not sure so much on a magical team, considering that you would only be missing out on like one buff here. Physical damage to all party members. But right here, this is just for trim, if that's what you're wondering. All this is just for trim. So you wouldn't have to worry about that. But at the same time, 
Trib is also a physical unit, but I'm not sure if he receives any kind of like magical rec magical like increase or anything like that. So yeah, you have to keep that in mind. As for Hyper, he's actually extremely good for dishing out damage to enemies and clearing waves, which I would also recommend. All right, let's scroll down. What else is here? So our little Thunder Fury gets an upgrade. Hmm. You can now use S units. Functions to use all allies that are S and lower. All right. That's definitely gonna be nice. Um, I think I do have to replenish my pets. So, novice guild system. If a beginner guild does not have a guild master, the guild members receive various buffs and benefits. Wait, what? To be honest, I didn't think you couldn't have a guild master. That's odd. Users who have not joined the guild will receive a message to become a member of a beginner guild. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. It's the whole, like, when you join the game, you automatically get placed in the beginner guild type situation, but you have a choice of joining the beginner guild that does not have, like, a guild master, but you could, like, buff up. Then, once you're ready, you could leave that guild and go to an actual other guild. Okay. I see, that's basically what it's saying, but in the beginner guild you get various rewards and like leveling yourself like a little bit faster. That's basically what that's saying. So that's pretty much it guys. Some really good stuff are coming, I'm really looking forward to most of it. But I am still going to be farming like these guys either way it goes. I am running low on gold and rubies. As you guys can see, I've been farming up a storm for Mr. Probe here. Uh, Alright, so... I do have essence for him that I could put in right now. But, how much gold are you going to take? I'm pretty sure you're going to take over the amount I can give. Nah, he'll take a right amount, but then I won't be able to put my runes on. God, I'm going to have to start by farming gold. I think at one point, I'm going to have to relax on ultimates when I get prone there. Then I'll start up again later. Hmm. That'll probably be my best choice. Alright, let's just go ahead and do this. I'll farm the rest down the road. Or I'll probably drop by the shop and grab some gold. Ah, man. And now I gotta do this later. Jesus Christ. Well, that's all for today, guys. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. I'm going to try and get better by tomorrow. Now I've got to go record a Dishonor video. Great.